Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I wanted to do this video and basically this video is talking about boundaries. Um, and what prompted me to make this video is something that I saw um, just recently on social media. There's this one young lady that I follow um, on a social media network and she was speaking of an incident and this is a little, I won't say it's like an unusual occurrence, but these are things that happen to us fairly often throughout life. And what happened with this situation was, is that she was hanging out with a group of friends and these friends were males. None of them she was romantically involved in whatsoever. Um, but these males, she considered them to be friends, okay? And what happened was is that one of the guys decided that he was going to step out of his place and he asked or he was saying pretty much so not directly to her but indirectly you know to her but he was talking to the other guys that she was hanging out with and he was like he knew the girl and you know she knew him and he was like well how much for her so basically in essence he was calling her pretty much so a hoe a prostitute okay and I know she got very highly offended you know during the situation and obviously as most of any of us females who have any level of respect for ourselves we would get upset right so you know she definitely said something to him but then the other guys were like Oh no, you know, you know, don't pay him no mind. You know, he's, he doesn't really mean it. He's just, he's just drunk, you know, basically giving him an excuse that, you know, what he said was okay, but just ignore it. Um, these are situations that I think happen to us quite often. And a lot of times they can turn deadly if you allow it to turn deadly. Um, we've heard many situations where, you know, someone will come up to you saying something out of the way out of their place to you or indirectly to you, you hear it. And of course you get extremely upset if you choose to get extremely upset. Now, my thing is, do you get drawn into the drama? Should you allow yourself to get drawn into this type of drama? Now, I'm not saying that, you know, you should allow people to disrespect you any way they want, because obviously you're going to speak up for yourself and you're going to talk for yourself. And as this young lady did, as she said, she spoke up for herself. You know, but the other guys are trying to like play it down like, oh, no, no, no. You know, don't don't get all bent up out of shape about it. It's OK. You know, kind of saying like it's OK to be disrespected as a woman. And I could definitely relate to what she was saying, as I'm quite sure a lot of you young ladies can relate to this situation. Um, now, she did say something to him. Now, my thing is, when you're dealing with a situation like this. Do you allow yourself to get drawn into this type of drama or do you just simply walk away? I feel that sometimes in certain instances, it's just better to walk away. It's better to just bite your tongue and walk away to be a better person. Because a lot of times people want you to just stoop down into their level, you know, to get on their level with them, which is you know, I'm not saying that anybody is better than anybody else, but when it comes down to using your head, using common sense, they want you to get down to their level. And if you have any level of common sense, of course, you're not going to be on that level. You're not even in the same book with this person. Um, but people come out of their place. They come out of their face and they start talking madness to you. What do you do? What do you do? Now, a lot of people would be like, <laughs> be like, Hold my earrings, <laughs> give me some Vaseline, you know, all this other kind of stuff. Cause you know, I'm about to throw down, but a lot of times that's not even really necessary because fighting ignorance or being violent with someone who's being completely ignorant or a basic idiot doesn't make you a better person. And then after the fact, you're really not going to feel better. You're not going to feel better about yourself. You're going to replay it in your head and you're going to say, well, you know what? Maybe I could have handled that a little bit differently because next thing you can know, you could be going to jail, you know, because you got into an altercation, especially if it's out in public, 
you know, you got into an altercation with someone, you assaulted them or whatever, you know, sometimes it's just not even worth it. This is something that happens quite often. Now, when it's a person like this in this situation, these were just acquaintances, friends that she knew. If it's like a family member or if it's a very close friend, that's a whole different situation. And a lot of times there's even a million times more harder to deal with something like that, especially if someone is being very disrespectful to you or calling you out of your name or different things like that, you know, saying things that you know are not your truth. But see, when it all boils down to it, it's all about you, you reacting. It's your reaction. It's not about you accepting that as being your truth because you know it's not your truth. You know what you are. You know truly, deeply inside of yourself who you really are. No one can tell you who you are. You are the only person that knows that, right? So it's basically your reaction to what that person says to you. You can choose to react or you can choose not to react. You know, I've gotten to this point in my life where I just, you know, try to just be as peaceful as possible and really try not to get into altercations. I am not one that really likes to get into confrontations with people at all. I just, that's just not my thing. Um, now I will speak of an incident that just recently happened to me. Um, and this was, you know, maybe a month or so, two months ago, I had this one guy, he asked me for my number and, um, I was just out and I was like, oh, he's cute. You know, I was like, okay, I'll give him my number and yeah, I gave him my number now. Okay. Mind you, I never went out with this guy. I spoke to him one time, one time. Okay. Just once on the phone, actually maybe two. But not for, you know, like some extended, like long drawn out, like period of time, right? So, um, we were supposed to go and hang out, but we never did. Thank God. I'm like so thankful <laughs> that we never did. And I'm going to tell you why. So this guy, like he was texting me. We, we actually texted a few times, you know, he would text me. And a lot of times I wouldn't respond because I work like really crazy hours, so I would never like really get back to him right away. It'd usually be like several hours later. Um, so a lot of times I would just kind of forget to text him back or whatever. But so like one day we were supposed to go hang out and you know, I didn't hear from him, but then he like called me or text me or something. And so this went on for maybe like about, I would say maybe two weeks, if that, you know, it wasn't like it was a long drawn out time. And so one day he decides he's going to text me and he said something. I cannot, I honestly cannot remember exactly what he said, but I'm just going to tell you he went off because I respond to his text. Okay. He called me all kind of names, everything, but the Holy child of God. Okay. I'll just put it to you that way. I'm not going to even say all of the disrespectful things that he did say to me, but he threatened my life. Okay. Now see, I'm going to make a video and I'm going to talk a little bit about that negativity that occurs a lot of times here, especially on social media, but especially here on YouTube It's different. You know, when people are not up in your face, when they're in your face, they probably wouldn't say a word to you, but when they're not around you, or if they're texting you or, you know, whatever, they'll be crazy with it as you know what I'm saying. So he called me everything, this, that, and the other, and blah, 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 everything but the child of God, okay? And very, very disrespectful. Now, I could have chose to get drawn and sucked into that drama, but you know what? I chose not to. Now, he told me, now, this guy, he doesn't know, like, where I live, but he knows kind of approximate about where I live, and, like, when I'm taking the train, I'm going to work, whatever, he approximately knows where that is, but he was like, he was like, watch your back B. He was like, because, um, you know, I'm, uh, going to really fuck you up. Excuse my French, but that's what he said. So this guy was threatening my life, you know, but you know what? I chose not to get sucked into the drama. I chose not to. So what I did was I just blocked his number. I haven't heard anything from him since, obviously, because I blocked his number. But, you know, when you have situations like this, what do you do? You know, what do you do? Now, I could have, of 
course, gone to the police or whatever. I mean, if he would have continued to harass me some kind of way, if he would have kept calling me from different numbers and this, that, and the other, then definitely I would have gone to the police with it. But I just chose not to because it just, like, after I blocked him, I really didn't hear anything else from him. But what do you do? Like, what do you do? I want to hear from you guys. Like, when you're, you get into a situation like this, what do you do? What do you do? Do you step into the drama? Now, I know that, you know, you want people to respect you, obviously. But sometimes it's just, you got to walk away. You got, you have to be the better person and just walk away from the nonsense. Because to get sucked into it does not help the situation. Fighting negativity with negativity does not make it a better situation. It actually makes it a hell of a lot worse. It makes it a lot worse. And, um... It's just not worth it. It's it's just not worth it to get drawn up into the drama. You know, if you allow someone, you have to you have to separate yourself from it. You have to remove yourself from that type of negativity because when you allow yourself to get drawn and sucked into it, it obviously takes you to a place and makes you become a person that you're normally not because you get so upset, you know, and you get so worked up and you get so stressed out. And you're just angry about it for a long time. And anger is not good for your body. That type of negativity is not a good energy for you, period. You have to remember, if you can remove yourself from those type of situations, to just remove yourself from them. Because it really doesn't make any sense to get caught up in that type of drama. It really doesn't. And so, like, you know, with my situation, with the situation with this young lady, you got to walk away from it sometimes. You just, I mean, you can demand respect. You know, like if somebody's calling you out of your name and say, hey, 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 listen, don't call me that. And if they continue to do so, even after you've said, don't call me that, then you know what? You need to walk away from that situation and don't deal with that person. Now, that's why I said, like, if you're dealing with an acquaintance or a coworker or something like that, it's a totally different situation as opposed to like a very close friend, someone that you trust, they have some level of your heart, your trust and everything. It's totally different when it's, it's, you know, a family member or a spouse or, you know, someone like that or a close friend, best friend. It's a totally different situation. So you would have to handle it definitely different. But a lot of times when people step out of their, their face, and they start calling you all these names, these are usually a lot of times people that you don't know. It's like, especially like if you're at work, and you're working with the public, like I work with the public and trust me, I have some people come up to me and say all kind of craziness, like threaten me and this, that, and the other, just crazy stuff. I mean, this is New York City. People are crazy here. So I've had people like come up to me and threaten me and whatever. It's, it's a rare thing, but it does happen because people get upset. You know, they're upset about, you know, whatever service of whatever company, XYZ company you're working for. And if you're dealing like in customer service, you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you deal in retail, customer service, anything dealing with the public and you have customers, you know what I'm talking about. And a lot of times when these people come up to you, it's sometimes it's, it's hard not to get caught up into that type of negativity, into that drama, but it really isn't about you. You have to remember that even if they're pointing the information to you and making it seem like it's personally you, it's not about you. It really isn't. So you can't take it personally. And if you take everything personally, it can really affect your life and make you miserable, like absolutely miserable. So I want to hear what you guys have to say about this situation. Um, this is a, this can be a very serious situation, you know, to deal with, uh, for some people because it, it really can be hard. It's a, it's a tough thing to deal with. So I want to hear what you guys have to say about this. Leave your comments below. Thumbs up if you like this video and share it if you like it as well. Um, I'm also going to be leaving some links below for some of my favorite charities, or you can always donate to a charity of your choice. Just remember that. Giving is always a good thing to do, and I'm hoping that you guys are having a wonderful, blessed day whenever and wherever you're watching this. Infinite love and gratitude.